There is little doubt that our greatest military challenge right now is Afghanistan. As you know, the United States has focused more on Central Asia in recent months. President Obama has made it clear that the Afghanistan theater should be our top overseas military priority. There are more than 40 nations, hundreds of NGOs, universities, development banks, the United Nations, the European Union, NATO, and more, all involved in Afghanistan, all working to help a nation beset by crushing poverty, a thriving drug trade fueling corruption, a ruthless and resilient insurgency, and violent extremists of many stripes, not the least of which is Al-Qaeda. Coordination of these international efforts has been difficult, to say the least. Based on our experience, uh, our past experience in Afghanistan and applicable lessons from Iraq, there are assessments underway that should provide an integrated way forward to achieve our goals. As in Iraq, there is no purely military solution in Afghanistan. But it is also clear that we have not had enough troops to provide a baseline level of security in some of the most dangerous areas a vacuum that has increasingly been filled by the Taliban. And that is why the United States is considering an increase in our military presence in conjunction with a dramatic increase in the size of the Afghan security forces, and also pressing forward on issues like improving civil military coordination and focusing efforts on the district level. <laughs> While this will undoubtedly be a long and difficult fight, we can attain what I believe should be among our strategic objectives above all an Afghan people who do not provide a safe haven for al-Qaeda, who reject the rule of the Taliban and support the legitimate government they have elected and in which they have a stake. 